Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian here with another fun craft geared for ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. Let's get started on this month's project. So first, let's take a look at what's in the material supply kits for this month. In your envelope, you will receive the base canvas. It's a stapled canvas. Um, and then as well, you'll get some other supplies. We've got paints um, in tiny little cups that I have put in a bag and taped. So hopefully they make it home for you okay. You have two types of yarn, a little bit of macrame yarn, and then this um, poly rope that would we can use and then we've got a shower puff and a sponge also in a plastic bag so hopefully it stays um, damp for you and then around the bag is the painter's tape in case you didn't have any um, so that we can use that to hold down our rope so let's take a look at this technique so I thought this was a really fun um, technique on a canvas using yarn to resist the paint that you're putting on. Um, so we have the macrame yarn that's pretty thin and since it's a cotton, some of that paint's gonna um, really seep in and you won't get as clear of a line. The poly rope being plastic is gonna give you a lot more of a separation and you'll get more of the white canvas showing from underneath. So really it's up to you um the length there's about four feet of the macrame yarn and about two and a half maybe three of the poly rope so if you've got some scissors you may want to trim these pieces down um so you can go vertical horizontal um and just really kind of play around with the shapes that you are going to be having resisted so Along with that, using up some of the paints that we've had, we're at the end of our fiscal year, um, I kind of went with a palette that's a little bit of a uh, maybe evening sky. You've got a purple and a blue and then a black and a gray. And for placing the paint on, I mean, you could always use a sponge, which is what we've provided. Um, in my example on the slide, you'll see that I kind of went with a gradient and then went across almost stamping with my sponge. Um, so that's something that you can do. But then another fun technique that I saw was using a shower puff. So this is actually an old travel one that I had around um, and we found some really cheap little ones that we could use. And so that you're gonna be able to do um, maybe more abstract and kind of just different areas of paint um, or mixing together. So let's just take a look at those two techniques before we release you onto your own canvases. So I'm just gonna open my paint and pour a little bit. And I'm gonna do a double gradient here. And I'm gonna go color next. Take off my blue lid. And, oh, maybe a little bit more there. So I'm just really kind of playing with the paints. Oh yeah, there we go. That works perfectly. That'll be a fun. And then I can put the black right here in the middle. And maybe a little over here too. So I'm on the side of my cup. I'll go ahead and leave that off. So then if you've got paintbrushes or if you'd like to kind of spread that out, you, you definitely can. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead as is with my paint kind of really poured on there thickly. And I'm gonna go on my canvas and I'm really just gonna stamp through. And because I've got both of my links here, I'm getting a little bit more of, because this one's taller than this one. So you'll see the closeness of the resist here versus the closeness of the resist there because my sponge really has to go down to get and still doesn't get that close to also see that I probably shouldn't have pushed as hard because a lot of my paint went to the beginning and I don't have very much more on my sponge in order to come back across. So that's just fun and of course with the sponge I can always come back and then there now I can if that's maybe I didn't want quite as large of a resist there I can just come back through with the 
sponge and really bring it a little closer, blending my colors. Um, if you've got any white paint left from another craft, um, once this all dries, if you really kind of blend these toward a night nice sky, you might try that um, toothbrush trick that we've used on other projects and kind of splatter some white paint. So that's the sponge. And let's just take a look at how our um, shower puff here will do. So I'm just gonna start with black. And I'm gonna pour, really, because I'm just showing, so I'm just gonna pour my paint on there. And because it's a little bit bigger, I'll be able to use other sides of the sponge for the other colors. And so I'm just gonna come right here. And again, you see, there is a lot more room around the poly rope versus what is coming down on the side of the... I'm probably going to go a little less paint. Let's start out with a little less paint. But again, those first couple dabs, a lot of my paint is going to be on there. And then I can come through here. Blue and that black look great together. And you'll see I'm getting some of the mesh look from the shower scrub. I may have wanted to put gloves on. I definitely am wearing an apron because I'm wearing a shirt today that I really wouldn't want to get paint on. So I am making sure that I am protecting my shirt here. I've kind of gone through a lot of this with other colors and so there yeah let's just let's just take a look at what the mesh does here's my fourth side oh too much gray paint come back here gray i'm just gonna get a little bit on there some gray paint let's just take a look so my first couple are going to be mostly paint but then as i come out and have a little less on there so the less paint we're putting on our sponge or puff the more we get or the less coverage we get so that's my very first where it had a lot of the paint on it and so it really is just and maybe you combine so maybe you use the a couple of the colors early on with one of the techniques and the sponge and then later you come through with another color on the um, power shower puff and get a little bit more of this like mesh look over the top of something but normally, really, you're going to want um, your paint to dry before you remove your yarn because when you move that yarn, any wet paint is going to get moved with it. But just to pull that off, so we see a really solid resist here that gives you just the white of the canvas. So if you want a really wide resist and you're going to want to use the poly rope, but if you really kind of don't mind, see if I can get this macrame yarn un untaped from the back. So here and right here, I went over it enough times that that paint really got completely under the yarn. So I don't have any resist space there. But I've got kind of this cool, wider, a little bit smaller area right here. So that is our yarn resist canvas with kind of an evening theme as we head into fall. We hope you enjoyed this. As always, we'd love to see your results and we look forward to the next time.